Good afternoon, my name's Sam Davis. My name's Andrew Corbett. And AFC Bournemouth today are entertaining. AFC uh, Bournemouth versus Fulham. Yeah, AFC Bournemouth versus Fulham. And uh, should be an interesting game today. Bournemouth playing much better. Well, especially after last week, it was a really good uh, performance away at Brighton. How many did we score, mate? Five nil. Five nil. It was a great, great performance that we needed after a couple of real abject performances uh, where the team's head seemingly had, had dropped. Uh, we've had our pre-match Burger King today. What did you have, buddy? Bacon and beef burger. Bacon and beef burger. Very nice. Fries with that, right? Yes. And drink? Yeah. What do you have? Cherry Coke. Cherry Coke. Of course you had Cherry Coke, of course. Um, so yeah, we're at the Vitality Stadium. It is an absolute gorgeous day today. 21 degrees. We're both in our shorts. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be an absolute scorcher and a real interesting game today. Fulham last week. Do you know who they played at the weekend? Well, last weekend? Yeah. Everton. Everton. And what was the result? I think they won two, two, a 2-0. Two yeah. But um, for a team that's relegated, and Everton, their form recently has improved, and they and they quite convincingly beat them. So if you were Eddie Howe, what are you going to be saying to the players today to give them some motivation? Right. This is how I said it the other day, right? Yeah. They need to go right back to basics. Yeah. Basic football. Yeah. And do it that way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, you know I, what, I completely agree with that. Um, we've had the team news just in now, because it's just gone two o'clock. Uh, unchanged, so that's, a re so that's really positive. We've got that spine of the, of the team. So yeah, Nathan Ake's out on the left. Um, Steve Cook, Mepham, Smith. In midfield, Fraser Gosling, Lerma Brooks, King and Wilson up front. Uh, the bench looks pretty similar as well. Begovic, Musse, Stanislas, Heinemann, Simpson, Solanke and Sam Surridge. So yeah, that, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so uh, andrewslifevlog.co.uk, blog.co.uk. Yeah. And you go to a place called Barnabas that's re renamed the Beehive. Now, yes. Is that right? Yeah. So, someone uh, turned up the other day. Who was that? Eddie Howe. Did he? Yeah. Uh, now, you weren't there, were you? No. Unfortunately, but who did he turn up with? He turned up with someone else. Yeah. Who was that? Was that Jimmy Glass? Or? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you wrote a letter to Eddie Howe as well recently, didn't you? Yes. What did you say? For, like, there's two things I added in the same letter. Yeah. But the disabled thing what we had for the with last time. Yeah. And... Go about, go about right back to basics. Yeah, back to basics. And... I, I, I mean, I don't know if it's a coincidence, but we then, then battered Brighton 5 0. Um, hopefully, it'll be a decent performance today. Yes. Uh, we've had a few bad home matches recently. Uh, oh, the fans coach has arrived. Uh, so, um, right, we're going to skedaddle and get into the stadium, and uh, yeah, fingers crossed, up the cherries. Yeah. Inside the stadium, yeah. you may have to speak up, mate, because it's very noisy in here today. Are you boogieing on down to the music? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, damn right. Um, so, we're going to give our predictions for today's game. Andrew? Five. Five. Four, five nil? What, same as last week? Yeah. Mate, you're in a confident mood. Who do you reckon is going to be scoring for us? Same people as last week. Same people as last week. Being a bit more conservative, going to go for three nil. Maybe four. I'm, wary, I'm very wary of being overconfident after, um, you know, well, like Everton would have been confident last week and look what happened to them. So, Fulham, not great away. Their away track, track records are appalling. Easy for me to say. Um, so, yeah, I'll go for 3 0. Should be a cracking game. Have you got your sun cream on? Yeah. Come on, let's enjoy the game. Okay, got some breaking news. Probably can't read that. However, you can't read it. It's too sunny. Uh, Adam Smith is pulled up in uh, in the warm-up and he's injured. Andrew, who's going to step in to right back? I bet for Stadislas. Yeah, Julius Stadislas. He's bang on with his tactics. 
Um, so Junior Stanislas is filling in for Adam Smith, we just heard. So unchanged, barring Stanislas. He's proven himself to be very versatile, defensively minded at times. Um, so yeah, he's in it right back. So um, yeah, that's the only change so far. So again, on the cherries. Dean Court, um, we've had a couple of chances, Ryan Fraser with one of them, but what would you say was the best chance of the off? Josh King. Josh King, yeah, he, he blazed it over, it was pretty much an open goal. He's coming at him at pace and he put it over the bar. Fulham were threatened as well, Mitrovic, uh, was it Mitrovic? I think he had a shot over the bar. But it's been quite a dull game, been very stop-start. We had a pretty high tempo beginning, like first 15, 20 minutes. But the right back position today is cursed. Adam Smith pulls up in training, Junior Stanislas, he comes off after about 15 minutes or so. Steve Cook then deputises and he then limps. So Chris Mepham's got in right back and uh, Steve Cook's reverted to normal centre back but it's been very stop start. Um, it's, not been, uh, it's not been a great spectacle so far but we've been shooting towards the other end haven't we? Yeah. Are you expecting your 5-0 uh, predictions to come into force or what? Yes, in second half. Oh well, I, I hope it does. Yeah, not not the greatest, but hoping for better in the second. I'm going to six nil. He's going for six nil now. Bizarre. Enjoy. Zero one. Zero one. Fulham uh, beat Bournemouth today with a Mitrovic second half penalty, as you saw. Um, Bournemouth were just not at the races today. It's such a shame that after we put together a decent performance against Brighton, the team sort of go back to square one and are as bad as they were in the matches before that. Um, I think, in fact, I would say this is worse than. The previous ones. Oh, really? Would you say that? Yes. Yeah. I mean, you weren't particularly happy, were you, with the second half performance? No. I mean, we we created a few chances. The one of note was where Brooks put a lovely through ball to Fraser, and Fraser just on his left side just couldn't get the power to, um, you know, score past uh, Rico. But uh, honestly, it was just really frustrating. The lack of width that we had was. Um, it was just really frustrating. Um, Callum looked very isolated. Uh, Josh King wasn't particularly great. David Brooks, I thought, didn't have a great game either. Um, but, you know, it didn't help that from the start we had defensive issues, did we? Correct. Um, 
you know, we were playing with four centre backs basically, which was, which was not great. But I've got to say, credit to Fulham. I mean, it wasn't pretty to watch, but they did a, you know, they did a number on us, and Scott Parker's got them well organised. And a testament to also it didn't help with those injuries into fitness before the game even started. Oh, exactly, because who who didn't play? Adam Smith. Yeah, Adam Smith. Yeah, that's right. So, I mean, it was like a, that sort of position seemed to be a poison chalice because Stanislas and then Steve Cook was limping in that position before he switched back to centre defence. But, um, yeah, uh, credit to Fulham. Scott Parker's gotten really well organised. Testament to their recent success that they managed to beat Everton 2-0 and got a result at our place. That said, we made it easy for them. I thought we were very, uh, very lacklustre. There wasn't the urgency. The refereeing decisions were a bit weird here and there but can't blame it on the ref because we just were awful we didn't take our chances had we scored early on it could have been a different game mate yeah it's just such a shame because you know we were so upbeat after Brighton and now we're sort of back to square one but maybe this will be have a positive effect for next weekend against yeah. Saints and I mean who knows how that one's going to go mate eh? yeah I mean are you I mean you know what would be your team talk if you were Eddie Howe if I was Eddie Howe now I'd be having him all in his office right now. Yeah. And what I'd would you... Be the rip out, be the rip out of their backsides. <laughs> yeah. What would be um, you know, what would be your main take-home message if you're Eddie Howe, you know? And what would you be telling them to improve? A, go back to basics. Yeah. Second, right, would be get some practice inside you ready for the next match yeah exactly well you know what you... So no, Eddie, uh, no Eddie Howe's got one of those cards yeah well that's it I, I agree with so that so hopefully he's only listen to it <laughs> yeah exactly well yeah like Eddie Howe's actually got one of Andrew's business cards that's got his uh, website address andrewslifeblog.co.uk on it so maybe he's taking a uh, you know having a look at the video we're doing this warm weather training in Dubai and you know it was warm weather today yeah. it didn't really have a good effect so I think they should be maybe doing some training in Iceland or Greenland or Finland next year yes. doing some cold weather training because it wasn't working but anyway final score 0-1 zero 0-1 one. Zero one. up the cherries yeah. thanks for watching and remember press the subscribe button and if you like this video hit the like as well because all likes are all appreciated yep. and also follow Andrew on Twitter as well he's at Andrew Corbins with an S uh, so make sure you follow him too links in the description and Skype and Skype, he's got he's got it all. Anyway, up the cherries, and we'll see you yeah. next time. Thanks very much. Yeah, bye bye.